Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, there are some things that happened between episodes. Uh, the game updated, which caused some issues, like me losing my con uh, DLC truck. I mean, I can rebuy it, but uh, it's no longer in uh, my retainer or my garage. Uh, my username has gotten corrupted somehow, I don't know, but everything else seems relatively fine. Um, I also went around with uh, my Chevrolet and picked up all the quests, so we have them active and uh, have the ability to track them, so we don't have any uh, issues with that. Um, as for today, I'm thinking of uh, solving this little boulder problem here, just uh, requires two service parts, which isn't a big deal. Uh, and also we'll pick up these upgrades, uh, maybe also unlock this other Chevrolet CK1500. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with two of them, probably just going to be selling this, but I'm wondering whether this has some, you know, upgrades I don't have on uh, this truck. And, uh, yeah, we'll just be picking up these upgrades and going around the map. Uh, maybe even, you know, unlocking this watchtower. Either way, it's going to be a fun uh, scouting day with the Chevrolet. Hey, that rhymes. Scouting day with the Chevrolet. Unless I actually put in the accent wrong. <coughs> accent wrong, but whatever. In any way, shape, or form. Let's do a leap garage. Uh, we will need a trailer truck. Okay. Uh, scout flat bit times two, right? Yeah, this is exactly what we need. I wonder why there's a check mark next to it. Did that not cost me anything? No, I think it did. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's just uh, head over here. Also, if you're wondering why I have uh, so much more extra money, it's because I also sold the Navistar. Uh, if the game was gonna deny me any extra uh, trucks and abilities, might as well um, level the playing field myself. It's not like I was actually using the Navi Star for anything. Fair. As good of a truck as it might be, I just. You guys have heard me talk about the DLC and the pre order in regards to game progression before, so I won't go into it again. Okay, let's pick up the service. <sighs> service spare parts. Ooh, oil rig drill. Cool. Vehicle spare parts. Okay. Service spare parts. Okay, this is what we need. We're just wondering because we haven't seen them, uh, seen those parts before. I won't lie, I did find an image in regards to you know showing me uh, cargo sizes, just so I don't have any surprises in the future not knowing how big something is. Okay, M. Also, it's a pretty bad choice, to be honest, to actually take the Chevrolet with the mud tires on uh, this pretty much stretchy uh, road. I mean, you can just see how much it uh, just skids. Obviously, tell the difference between, uh, say, all terrain tires and mud tires in regards to pavement and even uh, in reverse. Now, knowing all of this, I'm pretty certain that um, off road tires are the best mixed compromise in regards to what you're going to be seeing in the game. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be putting mud tires on my off road truck. We're still doing uh, on the pace tire. We are still doing a lot of uh, hauling with it, and uh, apparently a fair bit of it still will be pavement. So, uh, and it, it does a great job anyway, going through mud even with the altering tires we have now. So it's not that big of a deal. That's why I'm not really looking forward to much in regards to levels at this point. I 
actually I did complete one um, one quest in between uh, episodes, more or less accidentally. There was the, uh, the quest to find the uh, antenna tower, which was well, clearly defined on the map, and also uh, you could see it from a mile off. So I don't know how exactly they missed it or couldn't find it, but anyways. And uh, I just had to go there. Accidentally went there, um, and well, that completed. That was like 100 uh, XP. To the terrain where the wheels actually get good traction on. Come on. Wheel drive, first gear, and let's do this. So, I don't think it was very smart to actually go by this side. Oh, I actually thought there were more the trees here than. Uh, she saw. I mean, those dead trees and general uh, litter uh, can be quite bad uh, in regards because, you know, if mud you can somewhat fight against, you know, um, those things just become like a decent stop and that's a lot harder to mush through. I'm gonna go straight through here because I don't wanna. Oh. I don't want to have any issues with um, tilting over the cargo. We've had that before. Oh wow, actually that this low low range uh, is actually getting us through. First I actually used uh, to good effect the variable low ranges on the off-road. Gearbox. Well, on the snow running gearbox per se, because the off road one I think is a different one. Okay, I think, I think it's safe to switch over to a regular low gear. Yeah. High low gear. There we go. That was a nice success. Switch over to the auto, and we're good. Stop, show task. I accept. We got a couple of rusty rock slides clogging up the, the river. Husky forwarding won't take responsibility because it's in the river. It's in the river, not on the road. You could really use your help with this, yeah, sure. Okay. I just happen to have to surface materials right here, right now. So uh, let's do this. Great work, thank you. That was 160 XP, 1,500 credits. Now, um, hmm, interesting. I kind of don't want to leave the, the the trailer in the middle of the road here. The, should I just uh, take it back? Hmm. Actually, yeah, let, let's take it back. Uh, not all the way back, but just past this little muddy area. I can totally take it from here with any other truck. But I would rather take it back just so we don't have any issues. Can I break off? Also, if someone has any idea how to better turn with these trailers, I'm all ears because, uh, I mean, these, um, not, not the semi-trailers kind of work because you don't have any multiple points of, uh, of turning, but because these have like a, f a flexible, well, not flexible, but you know, uh, movable front axle. It uh, becomes... Uh, like you have your own axle, then you have the front axle, and then you have uh, front axle of the thing, and then you have the rear axle. Which is a bit too many axles for me to uh, think about when I'm just trying to reverse it out. Okay, high low range, perfect, I can switch to auto now, and we're out. Quite quaint to remember Chevrolet when he first picked up, having all the troubles it did.
drop it down over here somewhere and we will indeed pick it up later on or I'll just pick it up in between episodes so you guys don't uh, watch me randomly moving trailers around doing basic logistics I mean nothing really exciting happened so far during those operations so uh, you're not missing much Actually, while we're here, might as well refuel, right? I mean, we already went through half a, ta half a tank of gas just uh, doing this little op here. Okay, let's check out what this is, because I keep, keep seeing it here. Alright, oh, this is... Uh, yeah, it's a car we pick up for barrels of uh, fuel. Instead of just regular fuel. Uh, and I think the first... Uh, station, fuel station, in uh, Black River I had that option, but I, I think I've seen some tasks that actually require barrels of fuel now, also we have some barrels of fuel in the in the river, which we have to pick up, and um, that implies a crane, and I've act that's actually one uh, full slot of equipment, of, sorry, of cargo, yeah, that's gonna be Interesting, just because there's some very, very, very bad positions. I mean, definitely not positions where you'd want uh, a heavy truck. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be taking the Chevrolet. Actually, I can't take the Chevrolet because I need a train. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just taking the base star for that. We'll see when we get to it. We have so much uh, to do ahead of us. I mean, we still have a lot of things to do in um, the Black River itself, some of the contracts, so we're not forgetting about that. But uh, if we're here, might as well get the outstanding things uh, like uh, upgrades, uh, free trucks, and stuff like that before we go on. I knew it. I knew it in my gut. I just felt it. I felt it that I'm gonna be uh, falling over here. I mentioned this before that uh, the roads here seem to be a lot more tilted. That happens a lot more often now. Like this, you know, th this, this is a, this is a trap. This is a trap. Insert Admiral Akbar. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that rock was something I did not see. Okay, let's. Th luckily, we have so many trees here, so uh, there shouldn't be that huge of a deal. Taking off the, the top, um, the, the rack with the spare wheel and the um, fuel, just because it feels that that makes the truck top heavy, and we keep having those issues. And while fuel is important, um, I think I'd rather face that and think about that than uh, anything else worry about oh oh hey level eight i was gonna say uh, and then worry about um dipping over in the spot where i have no other option to get out actually let's switch this truck uh change truck we just found a random truck blank some guy when you know we completely yoinked it okay uh the gearbox is nuked in this one 
works. Sadly, I don't think I can see what stats it has, but I don't think we care for the moment. We can just go V and we can go recover. I mean, even if we were to want to recover this uh, regularly, you know, just driving it, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, it obviously still works, it has enough fuel, it's just a matter of time for it to get back to the garage. But we can go to customize over here and see what it has extra. Uh, it has a basic stock engine, which we don't care about. Uh, stock, stock suspension, stock tires, stock scout winch. Uh, let's have an engageable differential lock. Nothing on the frame and nothing on the snorkel. Okay, so we can just utterly sell this. Okay, truck storage, uh, sell, sell, I don't really need it. And let's get back to our guy. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Chevrolet. Let's turn on the engine for a second while we look around. Uh, yeah, for sure, this uh, upgrade here would be the next thing you want to do. I wonder what's the best way to get down there. I mean, there's obviously this, which is will be more fun for you guys, but I'm not sure uh, I want to do that, but oh well. from this height would actually nuke the car, rolling it down literally an entire mountain. So easy does it. Let's actually use the low range for this. We don't need the auto, we need uh, more control and less bounciness. Okay, actually I'm sticking to the normal low range, not the plus low range. Okay, what's happening here? What's happening here? That's all that. I think we should just keep up one of the, the left side of the truck over on these uh, rocks. That would actually give us uh, a straight bend. Hmm. Can we do a shortcut through here? Yeah, I think we can. We have trees anyway in case we dip over, but that shouldn't be an issue. Oh, we can't go back because I'm in the low range. Break on, let's skim downwards easily. Okay, I deserve that, but that's fine. This looks a bit too steep for trucks, so let's take a left here. There we go, wonderful. So let's switch to the low range just for lower speed through this. On the right hand side here, scrape the rocks if we need it for stability. And actually I think we can just go straight down at this point. Okay, that's around all we arrived, don't really need it for this to be fully honest. Save some fuel. Easy there. That bounciness works against us sometimes. Oh, we still have a measure to go. Got it. Yeah, that water looks pretty deep as well. I, I don't think I'd rather check the side there. The side of the river. through this. Okay, thing balanced. Actually, let's... There's the refuel. There's refuel from the small roof rack. And I finally realized what uh, the little shaded green thing on the containers, including fuel tanks, 
uh, mean that's its fuel level, but it's so silly because in some trucks you just cannot see it, like you know, in this uh, Chevrolet. On the big trucks, yeah, you have it on the side, so yeah, I could totally see that, but. Okay, there we go. Now let's head down here. Easily. Parking brake on. Upgrade. Ooh, engageable differential for uh, the CK. That's absolutely fantastic. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, we cannot get these oil barrels because we don't have a crane. Including the cement truck, uh, cement, not truck, cement um, bags, barrels. Cement bags? They come in bags, right? Yeah, cement bags. Uh, they need a crane. Mm, what else can we do? Hmm. Should we just, yeah, I think it's smart. Let's just do a recovery. Uh, is recover the garage and try and pick up this upgrade. While we're doing that, we will also uh, be upgrading the truck with the differential. Just picked up. Uh, so V, recover this customize differential. Engageable. Fantastic. Let's sell this because we will not be needing it. And I think at this point. This truck is fully upgraded. I mean, it really feels like it's fully upgraded at this point. But I'm still gonna keep the autonomous car just because you've been having so many issues with us tipping over. And you know what? I'm, just, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna be removing the roof rack as well. Mm. Hmm. Let's put in the trunk repair supplies, if nothing else, then to add extra weight. And yeah, actually, these do come in weights, just because you can see how the part weight ratio changes, right, when I switch stuff around. So yeah, let's use the trunk repair supplies, uh, just maybe keep us a bit grounded, because that's at a lower uh, center of gravity. And let's it out. Oh, it's actually... Oh, okay, right. So the truck-mounted version we had uh, is just a wheel without any repair supplies. Just a spare wheel and fuel. This actually uh, is uh, our, whatever, uh, repair supplies. So you can repair like suspensions and stuff uh, with this. Cool. found the, the horn button. I was hunting over it uh, on the keyboard until I finally just... Okay, let, let's just see which button it is. You'd expect it to be H for horn, right? Nope, it wasn't. kind of off-road without any real mud. This part uses lowered suspension. I think I can use mud tires on a lowered suspension. If only if uh, they're of smaller size. Let's get this upgrade. Oh, it's an AT6V 4.4. That's great. Uh, however, I think we can uh, we don't really care about too much because I think we have a better engine. Yeah, it's uh, less reliable. Okay, 
Well, I will be sticking to this one, although maybe you invite that it has better fuel reliability. Uh, we might want to grab that one. We'll see. I'm not too keen on losing power on uh, this uh, on this truck. Let's try this. And let's head out for this uh, watchtower up here. Okay, we don't need a real, real drive for this. Uh, why I mentioned uh, putting on smaller tires, maybe? I mean, I guess, yeah, it makes sense to have like a lowered suspension uh, with all terrain tires uh, for this kind of very wobbly, shaky terrain, so unless you actually need the raised guard on your truck to actually wade through mud or something like that, uh, I think it's best to use a smaller uh, profile. Get the close to the ground, keep that center of gravity low. I keep turning the all-wheel drive off, hoping that uh, it's going to be enough, but apparently it's not. The terrain is really pretty mucky. Covered. And another upgrade location. Cool. Anything else? Objective. Okay. Uh, and this is a sideboard semi trailer over there. Okay, cool. We have the upgrade here. You know what? Let's head for the upgrade. have a fair bit of time. Uh, I think we can, I mean, it would be kind of insane, but I think we can totally do this, come through here, go through here, and then climb this. It's not gonna be, there's not that many trees there, but I'm hoping that's gonna be a good thing, not a bad thing. And then come back through here, here, and well, I guess here and here, that would make it just save us some time. Hmm. I wonder actually, no, let's do this. This seems like a better route. This seems if I go through here, 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 this is a straight route. We also have uh, trees and it allows us to come down here and get this. Yeah, that seems like a more solid route. I just didn't know how high the mountains are. I mean, you can't really... It'd be nice if you had like a topographical map of the area. That'd be really, really neat. But as is, it looks like a very flat Google Maps style of, you know, Google 
3D Google map or Google Earth style of map where you can't really make out how tall something is. Climbing something really tall without any trees to bench on in case of issues uh, doesn't sound very great to me. This little area here looks great enough and not really all that steep. getting stuck in here? Oh, huh, we are. Let's actually use a differential lock now that we have it. And let's move it along with the winch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Again, I think it's not the terrain per se, I think it's just the... Uh, the, the twigs. With this bud, we can totally see that the wheel is halfway in. But I think it's the twigs getting in our uh, wheels, more than anything else. But there we go. That was successfully navigated. But to be fair... Mm. This is a maxed out truck at this point. Let's sit down here. Wow, this is actually kind of really, really, really resisting me. So let's go for a high low range. Let's activate that differential lock, use the most of it. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Are there any trees we can use? Not really, no. Okay, so let's be very, very careful about not looking over. I'd rather go through deeper mud than uh, risk uh, tipping over here. We don't even make progress. Just so we can keep the inertia and not switch over to auto. I will have to stop here to actually get this upgrade, but I don't think I want to stop exactly in, uh, in this mud. I want to get some wheels up on uh, this firmer ground if we can. Okay. SI6V2380. Uh, a rare special issues engine designed to provide as much power as possible with little regard for fuel consumption. That's what's fantastic, and it is for uh, International Transstar. We do not have an International Transstar, I think. In any way, shape, or form, uh, I think this is a good stopping point. We're just a bit past the half, uh, half an hour mark. Uh, next time, we will probably continue this. I mean, we still have <clears throat> this upgrade to get here. Uh, we still have this watchtower to unlock here, which I would still want to unlock. Oh, actually, we have this watchtower here as well. Mm. You know what? Yeah, let's just stop here. We'll check out this watchtower uh, in the next episode and then probably make our way up and also see what's here because this will not be unlocked by any watchtowers or anything like that. And hopefully if we have just enough fuel, we can pick up this upgrade on our way back. And anyways, um, if you like this uh, episode, if you like this series, please do a like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.